The car is richly equipped, but no frills, power steering, ABS, two airbags, air conditioning, electric windows, mirrors and locks, audio system. The driver's seat with two height adjustments in the front and rear of the seat. But there are no traction control devices or core stabilization. True, an automatic transmission with three modes, standard, sports and winter. The character of Verasa is groovy. A good supply of traction, a smooth, quiet noble sound of the engine, without a hint of irritation even at high speeds, spur on active driving. Positive emotions are added by the obedient nature of the rear-wheel drive car, with absolutely understandable reactions to the actions of the gas pedal and steering wheel. At home, Barassa is referred to as sports business class sedans. This character is emphasized not only by powerful engines, but also by such interior details as red instrument lighting, a high tunnel in the front of the cabin, seats with good lateral support and a small, grippy leather steering wheel. In terms of ease of entry and exit through the rear doors and the comfort of landing on a wide sofa, where even three are not cramped, Toyota Verasa is truly a full-fledged representative of the business class. Perhaps such a car with a left-hand drive would be in demand with us. But Verasa does not have a European analog, so in Russia it can only be bought second-hand. Dodge Caliber We can safely say that this car looks much more expensive than it actually costs. How profitable or costly is a used American to operate? Caliber can be called a crossover, if only because it is at the crossroads of different classes, combining an SUV and a passenger model. The car is endowed with high ground clearance, all-wheel drive transmission, though only for European versions with a 2.4-liter engine, and has a solid Jeep look, pay attention to the huge vertical grille and powerful wheel arches made in retro style. Moreover, this Dodge is sold at the price of Golf Class models. Add to this the not for back formidable appearance, and you will have a potential bestseller in front of you. Chrysler marketers, as they say, got into the top 10, Dodge Caliber turned out to be more attractive to potential buyers than its predecessor Neon, whose fate we had was not entirely successful. Russian dealers offered a car with three petrol engines of 1.8 liters, 150 horsepower, 2.0 liters, 156 horsepower, and 2.4 liters. 174 horsepower. Modifications with a 2-liter turbo diesel with a capacity of 140 horsepower brought from Europe. Mechanics was combined only with a 1.8-liter engine, and for other engines, an exclusively stepless variator. And there is not enough space. For a brutal-looking and rather high hatchback, the caliber discourages crampness in the cabin. However, the passengers do not rest their heads on the ceiling at all, and on the back sofa you don't have to tighten your legs, but otherwise there is a shortage of internal space. You should also not expect from the American high quality finishing materials. They look at it through their fingers across the ocean, but the interior of the caliber is disappointing for spoiled Russians. Moreover, even in fresh cars, crickets start up in the cabin. Sometimes it seems that they breed there with every thousand kilometers traveled. There are more and more of them. By the standards of a golf class, the Dodge caliber is quite richly equipped. In the standard version there is a power steering, electric windows and mirrors, ABS, two airbags. However, some oddities of the configurations attract attention. For example, you will not find a car with climate control. These amenities were not offered in principle, even for an additional fee. Heated seats are also in short supply for a used caliber. Dealers did not have it in the list of options, although the officials offered to install seat heating separately, but at an inadequately high price. As for an American car, the Dodge Caliber is pretty reliable. Corrosion resistance of the body is commendable, rust spots will not be found on the body of even 5-year-old specimens. The exception is emergency vehicles, but the body is clearly insufficient torsional rigidity. The body makes creaks and groans when moving, like a living being. There were failures in electrical equipment. True, this happens mainly due to the poor security of electronic components, relays, and modules. Gasoline engines are time-tested, reliable and unpretentious. True, they have one chronic ailment, sticking of the valve of the crankcase ventilation system. Mechanics are aware of this malfunction and, as a preventive measure, they offer to clean it at every MOT. If, when inspecting the machine, a stain is found on the valve cover in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B drain tube, it means that the ventilation system is clogged. Troubleshooting will cost 4,500 rubles. A little more expensive, about 7,000 rubles, will be the replacement of the head gasket. 
This defect is also characteristic of caliber. Manual gearboxes on the Dodge Caliber are generally durable, but on some instances, the input shaft bearings wore out prematurely. If an extraneous sound is heard when working at idle, you should prepare 8,000 to 11,500 rubles to replace them. CVTs are also reputed to be reliable, but very afraid of the load. Suspension, McPherson struts front, rear, fairly strong independent multi-link. The steering rack rarely withstands more than 120,000 kilometers. Therefore, when choosing a used caliber, shake the steering wheel from side to side with the engine running. If knocks are detected, then the rail is already on the way, and it costs about 30,000 rubles. Chassis diagnostics should not be neglected, although usually the front suspension will require intervention only closer to 100,000 km. Stabilizer struts that change two to three times more often do not count. Engines on caliber sold in Russia and Europe comply with Euro 4 environmental standards, and on cars brought from America, Euro 3. In addition, copies from the USA come without an EGR system, return and afterburning of exhaust gases, which makes them more suitable for Russian exploitation. Note that all engines are designed for 90-second gasoline. The variator requires a delicate attitude, it can be burned after seemingly harmless slipping in a snowdrift. They have not yet learned how to properly repair them, and a new one is expensive. The body is not strong enough. It creaks on bumps and rolls in corners. Lack of rigidity at welding points. Dealers additionally strengthen problem areas. Knocks may appear in the rear suspension after 10,000 to 15,000 kilometers. The reason is worn silent blocks, 2,000 rubles, of the lower trailing arms. After using parts with a more rigid damping component, the problems became less. At least the resource of silent blocks has increased two to three times. The chassis is set up quite rigidly, which not every potential client will like. True, at high speeds the car becomes smoother. In electrical equipment, only the relay that controls the operation of the motor cooling fan delivers problems. It is located in the wheel arch and gets buggy from moisture and dirt that gets on it, locking the rotation of this fan, which can lead to engine overheating.